over the, the centuries, uh, we've seen a growth in the number of domains in which humans fight, right? Any, anywhere where they can fight, they do fight, right? And we just beat each other up in the land. And then the next thing that happens is we, we start to conquer the seas and we have boats and all this kind of stuff and we're shooting each other from boats. But boats were boats and land was land. But eventually the ships became complex enough that they required a lot of land support. Look at the first joint um, domain operation it occurs in 1178 BC in the Nile, Nile River Delta. Ramses III is up against a pretty sophisticated, ruthless uh, federation of tribes known as the Sea Peoples. Uh, he knows that he can't defeat them at sea, so what he does is he lures them into the Nile River Delta, closes off their uh, route of aggress with his sea forces, and then uses land archers to go ahead and annihilate the force. Significance of that is not that he used two domains, but the significance is that he used combinations of domains. Over time, it's gone land, and then sea, and then uh, air, and that was you know just a hundred years ago, right? And then shortly thereafter, space, and now all of a sudden, cyberspace. And not only have we had a, a really rapid increase in the number of domains in which we can fight but we've also had a greater level of connectedness between those things. And so whereas before you could just be superior in one domain or the other, and that's how you would conquer the enemy, the level of connectedness allows kind of this asymmetry where you can attack from one to the other much more readily. So what we have is an evolution of access to technology that gives us access to domains. And so the complexity has increased. And, and JADO revolves around complexity, speed, and precision. Uh, it turns out airplanes aren't bell cranks and, and pulleys anymore, right? They're, they're flying computers. And so if you have a cyber advantage, you can have an asymmetric outsized effect against an airplane. And so that's what JADO is all about, is understanding and leveraging not only the vulnerabilities on our side, but for the enemy, it becomes very difficult to defend against all those different potential options. This dilemma of, do I defend against this or this? Because they have constrained resources. But in order to do that, you have to have this kind of larger scope and you can't be stovepiped and siloed in such a way as to be only on one domain or the other. And it's up to us to go ahead and um, figure out a construct that works um, to, uh, you know, go ahead and pursue operations in a, a pretty um, uh, sophisticated manner.